I can't believe it for very sorry to come home. It's weird to try. It's fun. The use in the same. Microphone cerrado, teacher. Yes, my microphone is closed. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, yes. Oh, teacher. Welcome back, teacher. Yeah, the power. Welcome to the class, teacher. Conectó para ver el, el gol, dice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true, sir. Welcome to the class, teacher. Okay, thank you. I do really, thank you. Okay. We were in this car and somebody asked me a question. Estábamos en esta parte y alguien me hizo una pregunta que sí que significaba uh, either. either. Tampoco. Either. In this case, it's like an adverb. That's not polite either. Yeah, and we say either is it like American, either is like a British. Either. Okay, I don't know if. Is that clear? Oh. Hello. No. So, so, teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. I no, no. there. Hola. No, no entendí. No entendió. No. No, ni, ni Francisca tampoco. <laughs> no. no. Y yo. Ok, 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 ok. Hold on, hold on. ¿Qué es lo que no entendieron? ¿Qué quiere decir la palabra? Ah, lo que, el significado de, de, de either. Uh -huh. en, en este caso es, significa tampoco. Es como un oh. adverbio. ¿sí? Eso le dice, oh. eso no es cortés tampoco. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. Esa palabra puede tener diferentes significados, depende eh, cómo la vayamos a usar, porque ella puede significar, puede eh, usarse como un adjetivo que podría significar cualquiera, ambos, cada, eh, como un adverbio, yo ya dije que podría significar tampoco, y como un pronombre también podría significar cualquiera de los dos. Así. But in this case, we are using like an adverb. That's not polite either. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher, question. Sorry, I have a question, teacher. Okay, a mistake. Tell me. A mistake. What do you mean, teacher? Excuse me, sir. I can I can hear you very clear. Will you repeat your Claudia, question? Claudia, Claudia, agrees we help him instead. Ah, okay, agree. Yes, okay. We should help him instead. Yes. What do you what, what do you mean? Instead. The meaning of the word instead. What happened there? This word. Yes, teacher. The meaning in Spanish? Yes. Yeah, if you if you look at the, the third line, they are talking about they are talking about uh, somebody else, okay? And right here, Claudia say, agree. We should help him instead. They say, no debería, no debemos de hablar de él porque no es cortés tampoco. Luego le dice, de acuerdo. Nosotros deberíamos de ayudarle en vez de eso. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, we are going to practice this conversation with somebody else. I'm going to stop chatting. Please, if you want, you can make an screenshot now. Ya hicieron la captura? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Let me do a breakout room, please. Let me see. Okay. Uh, okay, it's going to be nine. But try to go and practice. Okay, let me see. Blanca quedó sola. I don't know why. 
Let me see, Blanca, where I can send you. Somebody is here. Bye. Somebody is here. Let me do it now. Okay, here we go. You are going to practice. Elmer Ramirez, Elmer Ramirez, Gonzalo, room seven, Claudio, room eight, Ana Judith, room nine. Please go to room nine, Ana Judith. Jose Alvarez, Jose Alvarez. And Carla Marisol. Carla Marisol, room three, please. Go to room three. Váyase al room tres, por favor, Carla. Carla. Hello. Room three, Al, le toca en el room three, please. Okay, thank you. What happened, Blanca Elizabeth? Estaba sola. Estaba sola. Sí, la practiqué por lo menos yo sola. Jesus. Okay. If you want, you can read it for me. I'm going to help you if you have problem with the word. Do you want? Do you want to read it? Alex, what's up, Alex? What happened, Alex? Me encontré la captura y salió ahí calvo y me dijo, me dijo el, el, el partner que quizás ese era la, 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 lo que me había él este, compartido, pero lo que hizo fue me salí de ahí. No. Ya, regresame otra vez. Pero re, mira, regálame la, otra vez la imagen porque se me perdió aquí en el teléfono. ¿Puedes you see it? ¿Puedes you see it? No. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yes or not? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, Blanca, you are going to be Claudia and I'm going to be Raul. Will you start, please? Ahora regreseme otra vez donde estaba con Claudio. Yeah, ahí el problema, sir. Entonces, empiezo. Yes. I can believe it, Robert, it addicted. His phone. Did you hear? Did you see him? You're right. We should not chat in that meeting. Absolutely, that is not political. We should answer his messages after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should. We should help him instead. Yeah, we should help him instead. We should help him instead. We should help him We should help him instead. Help him. Help him. Help him. Help him. Yeah, help him. Help him instead. Yeah, help him instead. Ah, instead. 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 Yep.
OK. But if you want, you can, uh, you can practice with uh, Alex Umberto. You can do it now. OK, teacher. Do it with, uh, with Blanca, please. Okay. I I I Yo, I can't yeah. believe it's Robert is a victim who his phone did to him. Sure, right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite, Agree. We should help him instead. Uh, okay, primero. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should. Not chat in the meeting. Absolutely, that is not polite. I, she, I, she should ask her his messages after the meeting, and we show Mister about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him instead. Alguna corrección, teacher? Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to read it later on in order that you can you can understand. Okay. Hey, let me see what happened. What about the rest of people? I don't see them. No. This word addicted is addi is addicted or addicted? Addicted. Addicted. Yeah, remember it's a ed ed addicted. 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 No, ed ed addicted. Addicted. Ah, ed ed. Yes. Addicted. Addicted. Okay, welcome back. Okay, let us do something. Let me see, Ana Judith Portillo is going to work with Carlos Antonio Escobar. Ana Judith, you are going to be Claudia and Carlos is going to be Raul. Okay, let us do it now, please. Could you put the conversation, please? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, I'm, I'm Claudia. Yes. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You are right. He should not chat in the mirror. Absolutely, that is not polite. He should answer his messenger after the mirror, and we should not tell about him. That's not polite either. Agree, we should help him uh, instead. Okay, thank you. Thank you, somebody else. Let me see. Um, Luis Manuel Muñoz is going to work with, let me see, Carla Marisol Arbaiza, okay? Okay, teacher. Do it, please. Okay. 
I can't believe it. Robert is a bit to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. It should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not poly. Poly. It, it right. should. Okay. It should. Offer cash after oh, about him. That's not poly. Luisito se lo dio entrecortado. I'm going to repeat. Please. Uh, he should answer his message after the meeting. He should answer his message after the meeting. And he should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. He should feel him instead. Okay. Okay, that's it, somebody else? Me teacher. Okay. Me? Me teacher. Okay, good, Walter and... Me teacher. San Francisco, Elizabeth. Yes. Let us do it, please. Okay. But I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Actually, that is not polite. He should answer his messenger after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite. Aiding. Agree. We should help him instead. Excellent partner. Thank you. you Thank too. you. Okay. Teacher, how do you pronounce? I don't remember how you pronounce instead. 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 In in agree. We should help him instead. Yeah, I agree. We should help him instead. Instead. Yeah, we should, should, not should. It should help him instead. Instead. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Let's move forward, please. Okay, mm -hmm. pay words. You are going to discuss this question with somebody else. And let me see, we have two questions. What are some polite behavior you expect from your coworkers? ¿Cuáles son las conductas corteses que usted espera de sus compañeros de trabajo? And the second one, what are some rude behavior your coworkers are not expected to do? ¿Cuáles son algunas conductas fuertes, pesadas, que sus compañeros de trabajo no esperan hacer? Okay, you, I'm, I'm going to split out in order that you can, uh, in, let me see in groups. Okay, con la persona que le corresponda, uh, you are going to talk about this. No sé si que les quedó clara la pregunta. No teacher, por, no, teacher, porque, por ejemplo, ¿qué podría hacer una consulta fuerte de un compañero? Okay, ahí están las preguntas. What, what are some polite behavior you expect from your coworkers? That is the fair question. And the second one, what are some rude behavior your coworkers are not expected to do? Algo rudo que usted no espere que ellos hagan. Okay, you are going to talk. Somebody else, okay. Let me see, here we go. We are going to recreate. Okay, please go to your rooms now and talk about both questions.
in this moment, all the participants are practicing uh, with the question. They are discussing and trying to give an answer to each question. What's up, Nestor? What happened? I, I'm lonely. <laughs> really? Estaba you, solo. Yeah, okay. What can you tell me? What can you tell me about the first question? Do you remember that? Yeah. Um, I think um, how a uh, respect for my um, uh, my for my device in the in the work and the uh, and my um, no sé cómo decir los utensilios eh, que guardamos en uh, the cafeteria okay. <laughs> and, uh, Uh, only that. <laughs> okay, no problem. <clears throat> Are you ready, my friend? Me han mandado a otro grupo, hermano. Really? Ah, ok. Eh, teacher, estamos siempre en el grupo de dos, o ya no. Hello? No, ya no. Okay, who want to say something about the first question, please? Who wants to talk about the first question? For me, uh, the answer is uh, responsibility, loyalty, respect, um, Integrity, punctuality. Okay, what are the second one? The second one is respect, um, dishonesty. Okay. Messy. What else? Um, irresponsible. Irresponsible. Okay. Irresponsible. Okay. Thank you, sir. Somebody else want to participate? Marcela, do you want to say something? Um, not sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> In the first one, I think that I I hope to my the polite ways that my co-workers maybe can be and say good morning every day. And when I pass uh, from my office or say goodbye, or maybe work in thing in a in a in a good way. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay. Teacher. Well, Tell me. In the in the first in the first answer, uh, in my case, the uh, respect, amenability, and fellowship. Only three. Okay. In the number in the number two in the number two it will be a uh, selfish Chinese litigation and irrespect. Only three teachers. Okay. I don't know if somebody wants to say something. I hear a voice trying to tell me something. Me, teacher. Ah, okay, tell me. And how to how to say me gustaría que pidieran las cosas, por favor. I would like that people ask everything saying please. Okay, I could like that every people say that, every, that everybody if you want to say in that way. That everybody everybody, everybody say ask please. Me. Yeah. Ask. In a polite way, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but that is a problem that uh, sometimes we forget to use the word. Yeah, but we need to say, could you please, do you mind if I use, do you remember the, what we were talking yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to use that kind of expression. Okay, okay oh, thank you. Oh, okay, you're welcome. Okay, let us continue, please. Have a problem with my computer. Hold on a second, please. Okay, remember that in uh, in our job we have a uh, different kind of people, and sometimes uh, it is really difficult to get familiar with some of them. But we need to try to do it. I'm having a problem with my presentation. What is happening here? Hold on a second, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it here. Sounds done, okay. I got it. Okay, let us see this, please. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. we are going to talk about how, how to use should and should not. Okay, take a look at this. Look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. Look at the words in the bold. Yeah, in bold. That means this one. And complete the sentences below. The guard should answer my good morning greeting. Yep. 
Linda should greet with a firm handshake. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. Okay, do you understand the examples? Comprende los ejemplos? Teacher, what is the meaning in Spanish? The um the fear harm psyche in in the number two. Linda, Linda should, mm -hmm. should, should greet with the firm uh -huh. handshake. Uh huh. What is the meaning of the how the one shape? A handshake. Handshake mean ah, con un apretón de mano. Handshake. Mm. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, handshake. But in this case, uh, cause COVID, we can do that. <laughs> mm. Okay, what else? What other? Okay, now we are going to fill the gap. You should plus the infinity form or the pay form of the verb plus any complement phrase to express a direct suggestion. What do I have to use? The, the infinity form or the base form? Which one? I have to use it. Base form. Okay, base, base form. form. Yeah, base form. Base form. Okay. Para los que no comprendieron, después de should, vamos a usar la forma base del verbo. Es decir, no hay la partícula to. What about this one at the right side? Darío should not use my emojis in his emails. Dario should not use many emojis in his emails. Tell me. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabrielle should not tell sexist jokes. And your boss should not shout at you. Your boss should not shout at you. Okay, ¿se comprenden esos ejemplos? Yes, teacher. Okay, now we are going to feel right here. We are going to use should plus not uh, the infinity pair or the pay form? The base form. The base, the base form. form. Okay, but we have to put not at uh, before, okay? Before the verse. Uh, plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate. You need to keep in mind these two concepts. Necesitan mantenerlo en sus mentes, uh, esos conceptos. Okay, I don't know if you have question right now. No question? ¿Hay preguntas o no hay preguntas? Let me see the, the attendance now, please. I don't have a question, teacher. You don't have any questions, sir. Okay, thank you. Veamos la asistencia si ya apareció alguien más, please. Okay, here we go, Marty. Okay, Alex Humberto. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Hi, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Ana Judith. Quien no responde se durmió. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Present. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudio. Present. Edwin. Present. Elmer. 
Elmer, Ubaldo, Francisca. Present teacher. Elizabeth, Gonzalo. Present teacher. Present. Uh, Jose Eduardo. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Let me see. Carla Marisol. Present. Eso. Catherine Marcela. Present teacher. Okay. Amazing. Luis Alfonso. Uh, yeah, Luis Alfonso, Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Walter, Walter. Present teacher. Present. Uh, Jesus Ariel. And Nestor. Okay. Present. Nestor, Nestor. Okay, thank you. Let me see the time. Let me see the time that we have. What is that? What is that? This is our number six. Let me see. Okay, let's continue working this. I know you are uh, kind of tired, but let us do it now, please. Okay, we already talked about this. Okay, let us talk about pricing you should never do at the word. Somebody wants to read for me, please? Who wants to read it? Hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. Who wants to read it? Okay, things you should never do at work. Like, sure, there are times when, when you might feel like lying to a client or co worker will make the situation easier, but being seen as an honest person is more important for your professional reputation. Even if you haven't, complete something, did something wrong, it sits. Be honest, your manager and co-worker will appreciate you more for telling the truth, truth that damn lying and the sex, the saving them. Okay. Is that clear? Lie, sure. There are times when you might feel like lying to a client or a worker will make the situation easier. But being seen as an honest person is more important for your professional reputation. We need to take care of that, please. What about this one? Farm bridges. What is that? Yeah. Farm bridges. Want to read it? Give me the chat. Okay, tell me. Um, really, maybe you can send your manager or or you dislike the work you're doing. Um, whatever the whatever the case, maybe don't ever go. Uh, we heard this all the tie in the business work because it's very valuable. <sighs> you never know when you might need help, assistance, or a reference for a past police. Treat every 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 treat everyone with respect. No just manager, you never know how the relationship could benefit you in the picture. Okay, thank you. What, what, what is the meaning of the, this expression, bar bridges? Bar bridges. 
maybe you can stand your manager or you decide where you are doing. He's the big, then, big the liar. <laughs> it's a big oh. liar, teacher. Really? It's, it's, it's a big liar. Liar. Because big liar? It's the, it's the que, it's se ha un puente. O sea, es una excusa que está poniendo una mentira, pues. Yeah, but, 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 but we need to take care of the context. Cuando dice que al literal así, como no quemar los puentes o quemar los puentes, dice, maybe you can extend your manager. Tal vez no soportes a tu manager. Or you dislike the work you are doing. O no te guste lo que estás haciendo. Whatever the case may be, cualquiera de los casos que fuera, don't ever bar a bridge. We hear this all the time in the business world because it's very valuable advice. You never know when you may need a health assistant or a reference from a past colleague. Es decir, siempre tenemos que dejar la puerta abierta porque no sabemos cuándo vamos a necesitar algo de alguien y por lo tanto ah, no debemos quemar esa conexión que puede haber con la compañía, con la empresa, con los jefes. Yep. Ah, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For that reason, yeah. treat everyone with respect, not just manager. Yeah, exactly. Trate a todo el mundo con respeto, no solo a los managers. You never know how the relationship could benefit you in the future. Así es, teacher. No si sabemos de, cómo, si cómo será si la no relación de, en el futuro. Así es. Y si nos okay. despiden, que dar gracias por todo, por el trabajo, por el tiempo y por todo, teacher. For, for everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for thank you for your class, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, number three, react while upset. Hi, teacher. Okay, Luis. React while upset. You want to work read? Can... Sorry. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, work can get it is specialty at high pressure job. It is a good idea to learn how to handle your emotion in the workplace before a situation arises. There might be time that a prey falls through. You lost the customer or there's a disagreement, but showing your emotion throughout race or anger will only create a bad reputation for you in the world's play. Yes. That means that you need to react while upset. Work can get intense, especially at a high pressure job. It's a good idea to learn how to handle your emotion in the workplace before a situation arises. That means that we need to take control of our, our emotion, right? A controlar las emociones. What about this blame? So me me teacher. Me okay. teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Blame. Yeah. There are certainly going to be time in your professional career when sometime got something. grow. Something got grown and it not your fault at all. It AC to want to blaze uh, your co worker or employer, but whenever, 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 whenever possible, whenever possible, as a responsibility that you had a part in the matter, even if the direct issue was not your fault and focus on resolving yeah. the issue when you drown someone under the bus, it doesn't solve the problem. It's only negative, negative impact, excuse me? Okay, go ahead. Negativity impact, impacts. negativity, impact relationship, Okay, Blaine, there are certainly going to be time in your professional career when something goes wrong and it is not your fault at all. Okay. Algunas veces en su carrera, pues, no todo va 
eh, de la mejor manera, ¿no? Pero a veces uh, no es tu culpa del todo. Es si tú want to blame your coworkers. Es eh, fácil echarle la culpa a alguien. Por ejemplo, Jiva, whenever possible, accept responsibility that you had a part in the matter. Even if the, the issues was not your fault and focus on resolving the issue. Aunque no tengamos la culpa, tenemos que aceptar ciertas responsabilidades. When you throw someone under the bus, it doesn't solve the problem. It only negatively impacts relations. Cuando le echamos la culpa a alguien, uh, pues eso solo impacta en forma negativa. We need to be careful about that. Okay. And the last one, uh, complain. Everyone gets frustrated at work once in a while. And there are times when you'll be unhappy, but don't spread those emotions around the office. No one wants a negative coworker that stress everyone else out. Try to focus on the thing you can control and stay positive. Okay, I need that you keep in mind this uh, words that I have shared with you. But before I show you something else, I need to. What what what, what do you think about what we have read? ¿Qué piensan de lo que leímos? Let us see what can you tell me about it. For me, teacher is very important. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. For me, is true. It is too. Else, must. In my case, teacher. In my case, teacher. Everything. Uh, everything uh, are very important for for my our relation relationship with with the. Uh, with our work co worker the uh, workers worker and the and the uh, and the boss and the boss and, and the and the other person okay okay i got you i got you i got you okay let us see this please in a hurry because because of the time okay take a look at this can you see it Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Workplace etiquette. We already talked about the meaning of this word, right? Do you remember what is etiquette? No, etiquette. I don't remember. Yeah, we talk about it. Hablamos de eso que es on etiquette. It's a set of rule in the in the way that people has to behave. Las etiquetas son un grupo de reglas. Cómo debemos de comportarnos en different places. Do you remember that? ¿Se acuerdan que hablamos de ellos? Sí. Yes, yes. Solo uno me dice yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, por favor. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is a workplace etiquette? Workplace etiquette means the socially acceptable ways that we interact with one another and behave in our workplace. May vary from one workplace to another, however, but there are some behavior which are universally acceptable. And we need to be clear about that. Podría variar de un lugar de trabajo a otro, pero uh, hay formas universales de comportamiento que son aceptables. Uh, for example, a lot of workplace etiquette has to do with common courtesy. La mayoría de ellos tienen que ver con si es común es making our workplace as a comfortable place that is uh, conducive to productivity and succeed. Uh, and sometimes also we can say that it's no negotiable company policy, anything that makes another person uncomfortable, uneasy, or afraid. But let us see what is this. Somebody want to read it for me, please? 
What behaviors does the workplace etiquette include? Okay, the way you relate to coworkers, the way you relate to customer, uh, your behaviors while at work, what you wear, how you speak or communicate to with people. What else do you consider that we can include in this part? Are you following me or not? Me están siguiendo, no me están siguiendo con lo que estoy diciendo. La forma de cómo se relaciona con sus compañeros, yes, con sus clientes, eh, la sí. forma de comportamiento en su trabajo, que usa, cómo habla, cómo se comunica con las personas. ¿Qué más? No hay más. ¿No? Um... Si es buena gente. <laughs> what will we discuss? Workplace, do's and don't. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer y qué es lo que no hay que hacer? Telephone etiquette, office etiquette, email etiquette. A lot of things to do. Sir, in the, in the first, in the first is that or do es Es best that. In the right primera, here? Uh -huh. Wordplay, dos. Yes. Dos. And done. Yeah, right here. Dos and don'ts. Que hacer, que no hacer. It's a way to write it down. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, listen. Telephone etiquette, office etiquette, email etiquette. And what else do we have here? Let me see. Okay. What are some of the most annoying, bothersome, and time wasting tones? Loudness, loud telephone conversation, even more annoying when they are personal conversation. Sometimes it's really difficult to stand that kind of person. Loud talking in general on the phone, in personal nearby, where people are trying to work on intercom and etc. Loud complaining, we'll talk about this more. Loud music, sometimes people want to have music in their office and we need to have, um, take care about that. But what about loudness? The personal conversation to a minimum by at work. Close your door or go outside on a break. Uh, to your cell phone ringer to vibrate or low volume. What else? What, what else we can say? Tell me. Hello. Some ringtones, uh, teacher, for uh, the, the uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, como digo, le digo I. In English, in English. I, referente. I, a, I, 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 referente a los, a los, a los timbres de teléfono. Okay. There, there are, si son plurales. There are, there are, okay, there are, there are ring, 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 ringtone on uh, uh, the phone because uh, there are the song, no, it is, uh, uh, are in a right? Yeah, there are different. There are different tongues, and yes. uh, and they can counter the volume too. Yes. Okay. Let us see this one. Um, intruding on personal space. You know what is shari party? This is a no, very teacher. These are very American expressions, shari party. Shari party, no teacher. Yeah, no constantly working. coming into your space to shut up a non-working thing. Shari party means constantemente ir a tu espacio, a tu lugar donde estás ahí, a hablar de cosas que no son del trabajo. Yep. You can see the picture here. 
yeah, shari party, or be friendly with coworker, but allow them time to get their work done, also known as gossip. Gossip or the Ferrari sister. Yeah, this is a very American expression. Have you have you seen this the series The Gossip Girl? Alguna vez vieron esa serie? Alguna parte? Hola. No, no, teacher. I don't no. know. No. Ah, okay, 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 okay. In Netflix, you can see it. But you need to know what is the meaning of the word gossip. This is gossip. What is the meaning of these words? Be careful with this word. Yep. Chisme. Yeah. But what about this one? Sharifari, what is the meaning? Chisme. de Torrea, de Torrea, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me see. What else we need to study? In this class, everybody gossip teacher. Really? <laughs> no teacher, it's a it's a joke, okay. Uh, uh, about the teacher, maybe. Only the teacher <laughs> is no gossip. <laughs> the gossip girl. Okay, uh, let me show you this. Let me try to show you this. Okay, okay. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. okay, 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 okay. Let me show you something. Okay, we are going to shoot, we are going to use shoot to give advice, an opinion you give someone about what they should do, because we are focused on our attention in, in should. You should and shouldn't to give somebody advice or say what you think is the right thing to do and how we are going to deal with this. We are going to use the personal pronoun, I, he, she, it, we, you, and they, and then we are going to use should or shouldn't if it's going to be negative, then the very infinity without two. That means that we are not going to use uh, uh, the particular two. You are not going to use it. Okay. For example, you should wear a suit to the interview. What is the meaning? Should. Take a look at Barack Obama. They know the men, how they are dressed. If you are going to have an interview, that means that you should wear a suit. Okay. Uh, what about this one? You shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. It keeps you away. Drink coffee. Yeah. Ya no le muestro el café porque le va a dar ganas de tomar café. We often use... I think you should, or I don't think you should. I think you should change your job. Why? Because somebody say, I hate my job. I hate my job. Yeah, take a look at the picture, but not in my case, I love, I love my job. I don't think you should speak to her. Listen, I don't think you should speak to her. Okay, now is your term. I want you to say advice. Using should. Okay, here we go. It's your term. Give advice. I, I have a problem going to sleep at night. What, what, should, what, what shall I do? Tengo problemas para irme a dormir. Sí, ¿Qué debería de hacer? ¿Qué debería de hacer? Tell me. Finish the class in English, teacher? Excuse me? Finish the class of English. Ah, okay, it's an advice. Okay, creí que me iba a decir, póngase a contar ovejitas. Okay, somebody else? 
you should drink a, a cup of milk. Okay, you should drink some milk. Okay, what else? Never, never drink coffee, teacher. Before, before go to the cama. Como es en inglés? Before to go to bed. Go to bed. Not go drink to, before. Go before. Go to bed. Not drink coffee. Okay. Or well, you drink, uh, you drink uh, have, iced tea. You need, you need iced to use should. You should. Yeah. But give me advice. You, you, you need, in order to give me advice, you need to use should or shouldn't. That is what I want to hear you. You should. Uh, you should. Yeah. You, you should, should drink. You should drink. Ah, okay. 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 Ahí vamos. Tell me. You should drink uh, iced tea. Manzanilla. Okay. What else? What about the second? My neighbor's dog bars all the time and is driving me crazy. What shall I do? You should talk with your neighbors okay. about the situation. Okay. What else? What shall I do? You should, you should uh, call phone a control animal. Ah, okay. Do we have a keen eye here? Aquí no tenemos quinaio, ¿sí? Um, no, pero llega la policía por cualquier cosa de eso. Ah, ok. Pero no hay un departamento especializado en eso, ¿verdad? Ahora no. sí, el MAT está controlando eso. Ah, ok. Oh, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Sure, in my case, in my case, eh, throw a stone at him. <laughs> <laughs> So I because 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 I, I have a problem with the neighbor. Oh really? Yeah. And what happened, sir? <laughs> Did you resolve the problem? As so now you 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 threw the stone. Yes, I I throw it. I throw a stone. Please don't don't listen the the dog, okay? Okay. Okay. What about the third question? My children wants a dog. Should I speak with the neighbor? Ah, uh, okay. And then the sentence has to be in this way: You should talk with your neighbor about the problem to look for a solution. Okay, let us see number three. My children want a dog, but my wife is allergic to animals. In this case, it could be uh, the latest could say, las, las señoras podrían decir, my children want a dog, but my husband is allergic to animals. What should I do? Okay, tell me. Give me an advice. You should, you should go... Go well, um, veterinary to see a vet. Okay. Yeah. You shouldn't buy a pet okay. or dog. Okay. If you are allergy, you don't have to have it any kind of pet. Okay. 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 What else? What about the last one? I don't know how to study at home with a teacher. What should I do? What shall I do? I don't know you how to study at home with you a teacher. Should, you should uh, off 
often the other pet? Uh, you should watch the video of the class and that way you are going to understand. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. What else? Number three, teacher. You yeah, yeah. Number three you or number could. four, whatever. Oh. Number three, in my case, I don't know how to study at home without teachers. Well, shall I do? In my case, I download the class in G2 and review the next day, okay? Yeah, but remember that you, you need to you need to give me an advice. Sorry, teacher, no other thing. You need to give me an advice, you then should. If I say I don't know how to study at home without teacher, what shall I do? What can you tell me about it? What shall I do? Yeah. I mean, in my case, uh, no, 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 don't talk about your case, talk about my case because you are going to give me an advice to me. No, teacher, I don't know, no. understand, teacher, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Lo que sucede, bye. Yo vengo y le digo, yo no sé cómo estudiar sin un profesor, ¿qué puedo hacer? No sé cómo estudiar en casa sin el profesor, ¿qué puedo hacer? ¿O qué haría? Entonces viene usted y me dice, you should, y comienza a darme una sugerencia. You should or, or, or me should, teacher. No, because you are telling me. Usted me está diciendo a mí qué es lo What, que... The, the question is, the question is, I don't know, I don't know how to study at home without teacher. What yes. should do? Okay. The answer seria, the answer are uh, I shall do or you do. I should. I should do. I should uh, download the class. I should watch the videos. Different, different question. Okay. Different Thank you. Thank you. I, I should do. I should do. Uh, Le ha agarrado carga el teléfono. Ok, thank you, sir. Somebody is speaking. Ok, thank you. I'm going to start sharing this with you. Ok. Let us continue. Let me see. This one is going to be this one. Ok. Talk about this. Okay, we are going to work on exercise number six. Yeah. Okay, provide a suggestion about the next situation at work. Listen, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never say please. Peter should ask polite requests. Peter should say please when he asks for something. Okay, what about the second? When Carl is angry or, or things are not as he expects, he should. Okay, I need that you write down uh, the advice. My assistant never used a salutation in her email. I need that you give an advice too. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She loves very loudly. Okay. Provide suggestion about the next situation, please. You can write down something. Okay. I'm gonna be here waiting for you, okay? Teacher, in the second is yes. when Carlos is hambriento, tiene hambre. When Carlos is angry. 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 
Yeah, no, no es hungry. No hungry. No hungry. Ah, no es hungry. Sorry. Angry. 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 No hungry. Realmente no, 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 no puedo este, relacionar esta, esta oración. No, o sea, no, no puedo. Si no sé el significado, realmente no puedo dar una respuesta, teacher. Realmente. Yeah, yeah, I know. Is, is enojado. Enojado. Está enojado. La cosa, should be quiet. Cuando las cosas no se dan como las, él, las espera, él grita. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la advice? Yes, yes, yes. En la siguiente, my assistant never uses a solution in her email. Salutation, sorry. Mi asistente nunca usa Salud, saludos en sus emails. Saludos en sus emails. Sí, ella solo escribe lo que necesitamos tantas cosas ya. Yeah. And the last one, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. A Lucy le gusta contar chistes en la oficina. She loud, very loud. Okay. Teacher, sorry. Jokes, jokes, uh, you say chistes. Yeah. Uh, uh, is to rom romas? Yeah, could be too. Okay, thank you. Okay, I consider that you already have it. Well, maybe uh, Carl's Carl should 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 should, should speak quiet. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más podría hacer? Dígame. Lo que acabamos de ver, no sé cómo se llama controlar el temperamento. Ah, control his emotion. Control his emotion, exacto. Yes. Or keep calm. Ah, ok. In American way we say hold your horses. Hold your horses. Yeah, hold your horses. It's like a come down, come down. Okay, please, I need that you write down something about that. Let us work, let us work on it.
Okay. Do you finish? Okay, let me show you again in order that we can start talking about this. Okay, here we go again. Please, somebody wants to give me an answer about the, the second one. What do you... Uh, okay, when Carl is angry or seems are not as he expects he should, what is the advice? Like, can you tell me, please? Hello, 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 hello. For me, cars should calm down. Car shouldn't shoot. Okay, somebody else. In my case, teacher, he should he should control your temperament. His, his, he, his, his, his. Okay. El su de él. El su de él. Tendría que ser his. His, 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 his should control your temperament. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be in that way. But also you can say car should should control his emo emotion. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, somebody else? He 
should stay alone for a minute. Ah, ok. What else? What about uh, using should it? Can we say something about using shouldn't? He shouldn't lose the control with with her, his co-workers. With co-worker. 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 Worker. Workers. Co-workers. No, workers. Workers. Yeah, yeah. You are missing the er sound. Okay. Because if, if because if you say workers, it's a mean that somebody that is working. Okay. Co-workers. Worker. Workers. Yeah, workers. Okay, teacher. Okay, what about the number three? My assistant that we use a sal salutation in her emails. Okay, what 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 uh, can you tell? What can you advise, sir? My assistant should should okay should ask a police. Quería quería buscar la quería a Polai quería buscar mi asistente debe de, de conocer de, de, de saludos educados pero no no encontré como ah my assistant should be should be yeah should be very polite exactly okay somebody else okay. what about the last one Lucy likes to tell she you should be Okay. Hello. What about the last, the number four, Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. What uh, can you advise her? Lucy not tell jokes in the office. Ah, okay. Something is missing. Lucy? Not tell. Ah, okay. Jokes Entonces in the debería office. ser Lucy shouldn't or should not. Should not, exactly. Should not. Yes. Me should. Yeah, yeah. Should. Should, should not, not tell, tell jokes. In, Jock in the office. In the office. Okay, thank you very much. I do really appreciate that. And let us do the last scenes in order to finish. Okay, we already talked about shooting, shooting. I would like that you give me two examples using shoot and shooting uh, related to your job, to your company. Shoot. Somebody shoot. wants to shoot wants them. to do it, please. Ya hablamos bastante de esto. Okay, now let me show, show me how you are going to apply shoot and shooting in your company. Tell me. Luis Manuel, you can tell me something about it. Hello, Luis Manuel, are you there? Claudio Ivan, where are you? Jose Eduardo. Oh, hello, where? hello. I did share. Give me an example. Mm. Hello. Hey, teacher. Okay, Nestor. Uh, you should 
you should be share with uh, with your student <laughs> the the grammars the presentations <laughs> oh okay <laughs> repeat again please you should you should be share ah you the should share you should, you should share, share mm, okay. the presentation with your students okay okay i did i did please <laughs> I, I did today pero me salió alguien y me dijo no lo puedo abrir alguien me escribió me ah pero es que no ha, tiene que bajar una aplicación para eso yes ah okay Yes, Thank okay. You. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, somebody I want to say something, please. I need uh, you wake up, wake up. Because some of you maybe are sleeping this time. Alguien se me está durmiendo ya a esta hora. I need to see your faces, please. Ponga las cámaras, ponga las cámaras. Please, 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 please. I need to see your faces. Ah, okay. <laughs> El que no se mueva está sleeping ya. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you have any question about this topic. No? And uh, for example, to... I don't I should I don't should should not uh, go no no debería llegar tarde a la oficina, quería Ah, uh, you should not arrive late to your office. Arrive late, exactly. Yes, okay. Okay. You should do your homework in the platform, please. If you want to have 10 or 100 in the last uh, average, you know? Yes, I know. Okay, I, I have a problem. Uh, according to my schedule, uh, I had to talk with Ada Karina today, but I don't, I don't see it. I don't know if somebody else wants to be uh, with me some minutes. It's up to you if you don't, if you don't want, okay. I had to explain some, something else. Para este día le correspondía a la compañera que no que no ya no asiste. Entonces uh, significa que tendría que ser otra persona. Pero no he querido a uh, como asignarla de una, sino pedir así polite. If you want. If you say yes, okay. If you say no, it's all right, okay. Me teacher. Okay, Walter the Alta, porque aquí según esto le correspondía a eh, Ada Karina Cruz García. Okay. Y tenemos a Walter. Y resulta que a Walter le correspondía el día de mañana. Pero él oh. estará, estará <laughs> hoy. And we are going to switch to somebody else for tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see the time now. Let me check out the time that we have. Okay, we have 10 o'clock now. Okay, I don't know if you have any question. I'm, I'm still waiting for the rest of people that tell me two sentences using shouldn't, shouldn't, referring to your job. But you don't, I, I don't know why you don't want to speak now. I know you, some of you look tired and I understand that, but we need to move ourselves in order to be healthy and with energy, with power, you know? Me están comprendiendo, sí. Okay, Bye. thank you. Yes, okay. teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, okay. quienes no han hablado el día de hoy? Veamos, Ana Judith Portillo. I know that you want to say something. Are you did? Are you there? Are you did? What can you tell me about? Uh, yes, I am. 
Could you tell me two sentences using children, children, please? You should perhaps uh, give us the list of my regular verbs. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> you should you should learn by heart if you want to speak very well. Okay. What else? Eduardo Guzman is raising his hand. Eduardo está. Eduardo está levantando la mano y dice, I want to say something, I want to say something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Eduardo, what can you tell me about? If you want to be healthy, you should go to sleep early. <laughs> so now we finish the class. You can go to sleep, yeah. But now uh, that's not possible because some of you, after uh, as soon as the class finish, you start watching TV and and seeing the goals and the goal kicker, quién hizo el gol y qué es lo que hizo el portero, and I don't know a lot of things. No lo vi, teacher. En repris, en repris, lo vamos a ver. Está bien, teacher. No problem. Ok. Thank you very much. Uh, I know that it's really hard for you to stay up at this time, but, well, we have to do it. Remember that this is the third week. Esta es la tercera semana, ya casi, ya casi. Uh, I need that you keep doing everything that you have to do in the platform in order to finish and try to practice. Try to read your book, try to watch the video if you don't understand something, uh, or you can write, uh, you can send me a message in the group, whatever, okay? Okay, thank you. I hope, okay, to, see the, I hope to see you tomorrow. I uh, see have, you. A, have a good, good night. Teacher. night. And bye bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. bye. See you teacher. tomorrow. See you. See you tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Good night, teacher. Bye. We have Elmer and we have Walter. We have two, three. Okay, Walter a computer and has cell phones too. Okay, no problem. Uh, and two dispositives. And, yeah, in one you have camera and another one you got uh, uh, audio, and right? I have uh, I have my camera computer. Uh, no funciona. No tiene camera mi computadora. It's not working. No Ahorita para la conversación que vamos a tener si sí he activado el dispositivo porque me yeah. está lo de moviendo y moviendo el dispositivo pero es que no activo casi la cámara del, del celular. Okay. okay. Ahorita sí lo he, lo he activado para, para yeah. tener no, los 10 minutos. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. What can you tell me about the the mod this module? Um, I don't know if you have any question or any topic that you want to talk about it. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a algún tema que ya vimos o algún este, comentario. I don't know if you want to say something about it, please. Este, um, I speak Spanish, teacher. Ok, tell and, me in Spanish, no problem. Um, prácticamente a mí me está costando eh, la parte del inglés porque como estoy viendo que unos compañeros van bastante avanzados y yo eh, en mi caso personal, eh, primera vez que tomo un curso de inglés. Okay. Entonces eh, hay cosas que no las asimilo, hay palabras que no las comprendo. Si okay. usted ve es poco lo que yo participo, a veces solo en, los, en, las, en las presentaciones que usted pone eh, para leer, eh, yo participo, pero ya en conversaciones porque no sé mucho significado de algunas palabras o cómo conjugar los verbos, o sea, me cuesta okay. bastante. Okay. Y yo veo que unos compañeros van bastante avanzados en ese sentido y entienden y comprenden bastante. Hay veces usted se pone a hablar inglés, hay cosas que yo las comprendo y, y las voy aprendiendo porque de hecho tomo nota 
y algunas cosas las he ido aprendiendo, pero de, de comprender en sí, en su totalidad, cuando usted explica, explica algo, los compañeros se ponen a, a hablar y hablar, eh, es poco lo que yo les comprendo. Por ejemplo, yo casi no, no, no participo cuando son cuestiones de, de decir cosas del trabajo, porque no comprendo mucho las palabras. Pero sí voy, 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 voy anotando y voy practicando, ¿verdad? Sí, y hay cosas eh, que ya las ya la voy aprendiendo. Sí, les recomiendo que cuando eso suceda, si tienen un poco de tiempo, trate de ver los videos. Ajá, y, eso estaba haciendo. Y eso le ayuda mucho porque yo creo que a usted le debe aparecer la opción del caption. Eh, en la parte de abajo aparecen eh, los subtítulos de lo que yo voy diciendo cuando ya está viendo el video. Creo que así está. Sí, me aparece porque por rato en el trabajo los veo, pero por rato es que me queda tiempito. Okay. A, veces, a veces en la hora de almuerzo me pongo a ver los que me tomo mi tiempo para verlos también, pero por partes y busco algunas palabras que no comprendo también, ¿verdad? Excelente, sí. Y yo veo sí. que algunos compañeros veo que van bastante avanzados ahí, que comprenden bastante. Sí, pero cada, recuerde que cada persona eh, aprende de, de acuerdo a su forma, ¿no? Correcto, correcto. Entonces, uh, debemos de, de, de ir en, en, nuestro, en nuestro ritmo a fin de que vayamos asimilando todo lo necesario. Sí, correcto. Sí, yo estoy tratando la manera de, de, de buscar palabras. Eh, de hecho, hay un compañero del trabajo que, que, que maneja bastante inglés y con él me estoy apoyando también. Él me está enseñando ciertas cosas también, ¿verdad? Ok. Excelente. Pero sí, ahí estoy echándole ganas, viendo cómo voy avanzando y tal vez ponérmele a la par a los compañeros también, ¿verdad? Sí. Y en lo que pueda participar, pues yo participo ahí y yo voy viendo cómo me rebusco para ir a, en, comprendiendo, ¿verdad? Algunas palabras. Así es. Y por eso es que, eh, en cierto modo, yo sé que ustedes tienen su libro del programa, pero algunas veces yo les voy dando material extra. Correcto. Que, que, les, que les va ayudando bastante. Si se ponen un poco eh, pues a leerlo, les, les ayuda, porque hay algunas cosas que, que están bien básicas y que es necesario saberlas. Entonces, por eso es que les voy compartiendo sí, ese sí. tipo de material. Sí, lo que voy haciendo yo es que les tomo foto a la pantalla y la computadora y eso yo lo voy, a veces cuando voy en el bus o estoy en mi trabajo, yo le, esas eh, tomas, esas capturas que hago y las voy como repasando, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Okay. Y ahí voy viendo de qué manera voy aprendiendo poco a poco. Porque sí, como les repito, va a ver primer, primer vez que yo tomo un curso así de inglés, ¿verdad? Sí. Generalmente cuando no se está acostumbrado a trabajar así en línea, uno siente eh, eh, medio raro, ¿no? Correcto. Y uno dice, no, yo siento que no estoy aprendiendo, pero al final, al final de todo el camino, pues sí se da cuenta que sí, y que todo el aprendizaje depende de, del efecto que, que, ¿cómo se llama? De la fe que le pongo. ¿Siento? Así, así es. Sí, y, y, y cómo se llama y el tiempo que le voy dedicando a lo que estoy haciendo. Sí, porque de como inicié la primera semana, como estamos ahorita, siento que he aprendido algo, pues, y eso me va ayudando bastante, ¿verdad? Así es, eso es importantísimo. Así es. Y la ventaja que tienen es que, que les queda el vídeo y cualquier cosa, una explicación de algo, solo buscan el minuto en, la, en el que se dijo, lo ubican y lo oyen una y dos veces, una y dos veces. Correcto. Hasta, hasta llegar a comprenderlo eh, de qué es lo que se está hablando. Sí, sí. Sí, y lo bueno que la, las tareas de la, de la plataforma las la voy haciendo, ahí me estoy apoyando, pero sí las voy, voy al día ahorita. Solo las ah, de ahora me hacen falta, ¿verdad? Excelente, sí. Pero sí, lo demás sí, ahí voy viendo cómo me rebujo para ir aprendiendo poco a poco y ver de qué manera pues, avanzamos en ese sentido, ¿verdad? Sí. Excelente. Eso es muy importante, el, el mantenerse haciendo todas las actividades y no dejarlas hasta la última hora. Correcto. Ya que, bueno, cada semana, a cada fin de semana, cada sábado, eh, voy actualizando el cuadro de notas y pues la mayoría ya este, van todos eh, a casi al mismo ritmo. ¿no? Son pocos Correcto. Que, son pocos los que se me van quedando, pero yo estoy siempre pendiente acordándoles en la plataforma. Sí, sí. 
ayudándoles en lo que esté a mi alcance para que puedan salir muy bien, porque el objetivo es de que todos, así como iniciamos, terminemos juntos. Correcto, se Lamentablemente, trata. a veces por obvias razones, pues no se puede, pero ya ustedes muy bien saben que el programa es exigente y que la asistencia es muy importante. Así es. Para sí. poder pasar el módulo, porque... Eh, si se falta más de lo que se dice ahí, entonces ahí es el problema. Así y ya es. a lo hecho no se le puede resolver nada. Sí, correcto. ¿verdad? Sí, gracias a Dios que el, el tiempo lo he tenido y he estado al 100% en las clases, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, pero sí, vamos a seguir luchando, vamos a seguir echándole ganas para ir aprendiendo lo más que se pueda, pues, ¿verdad? Ok. Excelente. Ok. Eso, eso, eso es muy importante. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí. La verdad que sí. Más que todo, sí, me, 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 me urge y me interesa bastante aprender, ¿verdad? Ok. Por, por, por mi trabajo y todo eso, pues, ¿verdad? Ok. Entiendo. Sí. Oh, ok, thank you. Uh, I do really appreciate your time. And thank I hope you. To see, I hope to see you tomorrow. How do you and see tomorrow? Keep, and, and keep going, keep going. Try to do your best every day. Ok. Trate, trate de hacer lo mejor que pueda cada día. Y Thank you. Se, seguimos adelante. Ok. Good night. Ok. Good night. Good night. See you later. See you.